Yeah, you mm -hmm. attended these events that Karen did around the world. Mm -hmm. And then you decided, what did you decide? <laughs> yeah, I decided to bring it home. And I, and you know, to this day, she says that was one of the most beautiful experiences she has had. She's done everywhere, Bali, London, Italy, like you name it, America. And I knew, so I have produced some of her events, but also attended some of them as, as a student. And um, I remember every time I attend one, I'll be like, oh my gosh, you know, like this is so beautiful. But then I, I was like, you know what? Imagine if this was in africa imagine if you know people can go on safaris can go can go and see like the seventh one of the world imagine if we can do this outside facing the zambezi river i was like of course we can right so well, that were, was you the, yeah. were you shocked that she said yes first of all i was she agreed. yeah what people don't know is it took her four years to say yes <laughs> four years <laughs> Because wow. obviously she had to also visit Zambia to understand, like, why Zambia? Mm -hmm. Why should she bring it? But also, how do people come in? Is Zambia a village? I really mean that, you know, mm -hmm. how do we bring in flowers? How do international people get in? So it was everything. And I, I learned so much and grew so much from there because I learned that to organize uh, an international event, it's not just about organizing it on ground you have to also bring in so many people from the Ministry of Health, from, you know, Ministry of Home Affairs, because this becomes really huge. It's also about collaborating with so many different partners locally, internationally, airlines as well, activity companies, um, hotels. So for me, I then realized that I need to make these beautiful um, relationships with so many people on ground. And I think that was the beginning of my brand. I then started going around to different resorts, you know, different companies, telling them what I can bring in and what they can do for me. So, for example, being brand ambassador for some of these brands in Zambia has been really helpful for me to then go and pitch myself to international brands outside to say to them, come into my country. The reason why you need to go to this hotel, this lodge or work with this partner on ground is because firstly, I am the brand ambassador. So that means what you see in terms of the service, in terms of the branding, you know, how we carry ourselves, know that even with this brand, we're equal. So the experiences that you've seen me give um, outside Africa, you get the same inside Africa. Why, what did you get made? Because I think this is important because what I'm trying to put across is like you, you have a standard like, OK, uh, in, in a uh, European event that I'm doing on the dining table, there's this there's this glassware. But what did you do? You kind of went, OK, what's local and what did you how did you think that through and how did you incorporate the local side of things and still make it like an exclusive uh, high lux event? Okay, so we had uh, two e events, I uh, know three events, and uh, the first event I wanted um, everyone who's coming in from the outside to know what Zambia is about, our culture, like no fluff, you know, from traditional dances to the food to the musicians. We had James Sakala, I mean, he's a legend, right, for music like that. But everything from the tables to the linen to the centerpieces, everything for that event was made in Zambia by Zambians. I did not put anything that was not, um, you know, like that came came in from the outside. Candle holders, everything. And I remember when I was designing that, people thinking like, "What are you crazy?" Like, but it was uh, magical, and I made everyone wear vitenge. Mm -hmm. Listen, I still have mine. <laughs> Yeah, but and can I thinking... give can I give that attention to detail that you have? So um, you actually asked people for their measurements, all of their guests. You got the measurements, and you got each item made for them in Zambia. And having never even tried on that outfit, I put it on here because I was like, mm, some of us are our weight. I don't know about this, but I put it on, and it was perfect. You know. And so, and then arriving and seeing everyone else and the fact that you had thought all of those details through, everyone looked like united, uniformed, and it looked perfect. So that detail is important. 
Yeah, and I wanna, wanted to put a, uh, a spotlight on the local designers, you know, like up and coming people. So uh, we have some amazing talent in Zambia, but I wanted to get that young girl in the market to also, you know, have the dress worn by this influencer from outside mm -hmm. or even from Zambia. So I partnered with them and I paid every little girl that made those outfits. For me, I wanted to give people, uh, you know, something to look at to say, you know what, this is just the beginning. And this is why everyone looked like it was, you know, uniform. So they get to choose the colors. So we had a short list of colors and say, you know, what color do you want? Do you want this jitenge? And then we made this big order, got um, the measurements on time so that when guests arrive, you know, because you don't want to invite someone from America and say, oh, you need to wear this, you need to wear that. We just wanted like a whole pack, get mm -hmm. get everything, apply for their visas. They arrive, they have welcome packs from, you know, um, Unilever Zambia. So we had literally done a partnership with local local brands. Every day there was a knock at the door and there was a little something that was delivered. And it was just, it just made you feel so special, you know. So it's a small, small touches, you know. It is. And I think for me, for that, I um, I, I stayed in um, uh, Costa Rica, this beautiful, beautiful resort. And the attention to detail reminded me of home. I said, we also have that, you know, because you have like, you know, beautiful lodges or resorts, especially outside Lusaka, that they stay around that uh, resort or lodge and they start telling you about their families. So you're not just a guest. You know, mm -hmm. you get to know them. And I felt like that when I was in Costa Rica. And I was thinking, this is also our home. But how how else can I make this visitor know that that hospitality they will get in, you know, a place like Costa Rica or America, we can get it too. So for me, I know that most of these hotels, it's very corporate. But I know that in order for me to show them that personal touch, I have to add that. So hence, we had those little cards reminding them like we're grateful for them being here this is what you're going to you know do tomorrow or the other day little gifts and most of the gifts as you know were from our local partners mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I, I i it's important that i put across like just that attention to detail the small things that you did because it's it sounds trivial, but when you see the final uh, display that was put on on that day, that was just one part of like the whole experience that you had put together. Because you also had some guests were going off and doing, um, you know, tours of the falls or uh, helicopter rides or safaris and all of these things. And it was this whole experience, not just the final thing, which was come and learn how to do flowers, which which basically is what it should be. But it was a phenomenal experience. And probably for like six months plus, people were online still talking, still tagging. Yeah. So it's phenomenal. What what's what what's your uh, feeling about that event? I want to I want to go positive before I go another direction. But what's your final feeling about that event for you? What yeah, do you remember it's, fondly? It's just so beautiful because when you're in it, you don't know how you have inspired or what you've done. The magnitude. Because when I'm working, I'm always just like constantly going. And I remember even um the last day or of the event like i hadn't done any makeup anything and people grabbing me like oh, let's do this and i remember karen even saying let's swap dresses and stuff like i wanted to be in the spot like oh my oh god like come on and um yeah the, in the following day we had like you know newspapers and i'm like oh okay like i don't remember this you know um mm -hmm. <laughs> online was so oh online was like incredible like people were just sharing and it was my birthday the following day so it was very overwhelming but to this day when I get an inquiry with that picture especially from you know the venue like we want this I'm like no you don't <laughs> 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 I love I, that I love yeah, that because I, I I just look at it and say wow I'm glad that it's inspired you to want your wedding yeah. or your event to be like that but no you don't because they go like yeah we do I'm like where do I start from <laughs> it's like 10,000 roses um 15,000 hydrangeas um you know literally like why no tell the story about the truck 